Welcome back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast for everyone. It's Monday, and you probably feel like there's a lot on your plate. If you feel swamped all the time, you could suffer from urgency overload. You might have guessed it, it's not a clinical phrase. The phrase has been used by productivity experts to explain why we feel so underwater. Urgency overload happens when our mind thinks everything is urgent. That document, that email, that text message cleaning your kitchen. Everything has to be done immediately. But does it? Let's save urgent for what is truly life-affecting. This is according to Jay Ellard, the founder of the website Simple Intentions. Let's shift the conversation to what it's really about. Competing priorities. Let's allow space for decoding high-priority tasks and requests. Let's support an environment of more responding, less reacting. This is Jay's request for everyone driven by urgency. The person who emails you at 6pm on a Friday. The person who wanted you to complete that task over the weekend. Is it urgent? If not, take your foot off the pedal. The problem is, there's a misconception that urgency helps us work better. In fact... We make far more mistakes at speed. We also struggle to make decisions when we're stressed. In telling yourself this isn't urgent, you're upping your chances of completing it and completing it well. Over the next week, check in on your language. How often do you say something is urgent? Is it true? Is it really necessary to say that? Soften your timelines and lower your expectations. When does it really need to be done by? Trust that you're still going to get to the finish line. You're just going to feel better during the race. Space out.